conversations, Ben, that really have rattled the Greek system here on campus. The fallout from one student's written words that now affects about a quarter of the student body which participates in Greek life. The foundation of Greek life is secrecy, but the four walls of the Tufts Greek system is crashing down after a former fraternity pledge openly called for the abolishment of fraternities, referring to them as being rooted in white supremacy, queer phobia, heterosexist, and transphobia. I read it and I was really sad of the things that they said and all that, and I don't want that to happen to any students here. A little shocking, but not terribly surprising. University student Ben Kesslin penned his thoughts last month in the op-ed section of the university magazine Tufts Observer, alleging hazing and sexual misconduct he experienced after joining a fraternity in January 2015, highlighting one incident where pledges were forced to watch and engage in sexual acts with women. I think it's provoked anger in some. I think it's provoked um, a sense of agreement in others. The university issued cease and desist orders to four fraternities, and Greek Life has voluntarily suspended all social activities and canceled Spring Rush. Kesslin wants Greek Life off campus permanently. Oh, no, that sounds uh, unreasonable. Those need to be resolved, but the, that, that entirely seems unreasonable to me. Even if they disappear, the group of people will still exist. If the group of people still exist, they can still take the parties outside. University also making all fraternities participate in a sexual misconduct prevention training, alcohol education session, and training with a national hazing prevention expert. Lavin Medford, I'm Reed Lamberty, WCVB, New Center 5.